Hello friends of YouTube. My name is Lisa and uh, we're living in the last days. I know a lot of us are worried. A lot of us are scared. A lot of us are rejoicing all at the same time. A lot of us are scared for our friends who don't want to hear about God, don't want to hear about Jesus. Some of us are wondering if we're going to go up in the rapture or we're going to be here as a tribulation saint. Some of us are wondering what the New World Order will do. What is their uh, final trump card or their uh, scenario? Will they finish with the alien agenda or... Will it be transhumanism, or uh, will it be uh, created uh, type of animal that attacks us? What are they going to do? Are they going to create more weather scenarios with harp? We get too caught up in worrying about what they're going to do. Satan is going to do anything and everything he can do. That's what. We need to be more worried about what God is going to do. We also need to be more worried about what we are going to do. All of us are prodigal sons and daughters who hardened our hearts at some point and or looked away and became lukewarm and just let let this evil grow and become the way it is. We're in many ways just as guilty as those who created this terrible stuff around us that we're now experiencing. We need to worry about if we're going to keep our hearts hardened and our souls downcast or are we going to stand up and shine for Jesus here at this last hour last minutes maybe I'm, I'm talking very calmly right now because I'm trying to, to relay a message to you but there's a sense of urgency in my heart and in my mind and that's why I'm in front of this pendulum the time is short very short I know our short and his short are two different shorts but I'm telling you with certainty in my soul that the time is very very short the end is near I can't be any clearer than that if you don't want to soften your heart and return to our Father, fare thee well. Fare thee well. But wouldn't you rather than spend an eternity in damnation, soften your heart, return to your Father who loves you, Give up your stubbornness and pride and rebellion to Jesus Christ who hung on the cross and died for your sin and gave himself a ransom for you, for me, for all of us. I'd rather see heaven filled with brothers and sisters than us end up in hell because we cannot give up the things of this world it's time brothers and sisters to come out of the world it's actually past time come out of her my people it keeps resounding in my mind and my heart to the point where I have to share it with you 
The time is short. The end is near. Soften your heart. Back to the Father. Pray. Talk to Him. Ask Jesus to forgive you if you've left Him and come back into your heart and guide your path. The time is short. I want to go home. I don't know about you guys. I want to go home and be with Father and be with Jesus. In my youth, I thought maybe that was some boring thing. We're going to sit around on clouds and play harps. And how fun is that? That's not what heaven is at all. At all. My eyes have been opened where I was blind. And heaven is so much more. Think of the greatest, most joyful moment you've ever had on this earth. And it's infinity, eternity beyond that. It's something that we as humans can't even imagine if we just have a grain, a mustard seed of faith in our Father, in Jesus Christ, and call upon Him. His mercy and love is there for all. Don't get stuck in this snare of the things of the world, the pornography, the games, the cell phones, even the conveniences of electricity because all those things could be gone in a heartbeat even your life don't store up treasures on the earth there's nothing wrong with getting up and providing for your family in this society that's what we have to do we don't have much choice in that regard but what you do in your free time the company you keep the music you listen to the books you read we never think about how important those things are. We really don't. But it's all important. Fill these last few minutes with the good things that you should have filled all these years with if you haven't. It's time to turn. It's time to go home. It's time. It's time. I'm telling you guys, it's time. I'm not telling you of my own accord. I'm telling you because I feel it inside of me and the Lord God has told me it is time. We're living in the last days, you guys. For some, not much longer because God's taken, taken them home. I, I hope I'm found worthy of that. I don't know that I will be. I've done things wrong in my life. But I love God and I, I'm here to witness that he created this world. It's no evolution. There's no Big Bang. It's created. The Bible is true. I don't know if their last card's going to be the Giants, if it's going to be Nibiru, what it is, but I guarantee you this. Jesus is on His way. He's coming. He's already on His way. Mark my words, that, because they're not coming from me. They're coming from God Himself. The time is short. Prepare your hearts. If you love somebody, tell them if, about Jesus. Tell them. If you already are awake, tell people. Shout it from the rooftops if you have to. So what if they think you're crazy? The end is almost here. You know, I, I hid so much truth that the Lord's given me through the years in my heart. Hid it in my heart because I was ridiculed and called a Bible thumper or called crazy by people who I loved the most in the whole world. <laughs> And it does something to you. It breaks you down. But you know what? It's time for all that to be gone and, and you stand up. Don't be hateful. Just tell people he's coming. Just tell them you love them and he's coming and just that the Bible is true and that whatever their own personal struggle is that they need to deal with, it's time. It's time to deal with it.